Hey guys, welcome to motorrides.com. This is Amit Changani and what we have with us today is the new Aprilia SR125 which is an offshoot of the SR150. And while the SR150 has been around for some time, this uh, was introduced at the Auto Expo and now it's been launched and we are riding it today. The scooter has been priced at about 65000 rupees ex showroom which is about more or less 5000 rupees less uh, than its uh, bigger sibling. So in terms of power and performance, uh, Aprilia claims that the difference is not much between the two and this one can pretty much uh, compete with the bigger SR150 in terms of top speed. Obviously uh, the CC, the difference in CC is obviously going to show but the performance from this one as we experienced today is pretty good too. The first thing that anybody is going to notice is the difference in terms of the styling of the two scooters. So let's quickly go through the differences, the visual differences between the two scooters. So what has changed? First off, this blue color that you see here is not available on the SR150. This is exclusive to the SR125. In addition to this, this one will also get a silverish gray kind of a color. So two colors available on this one, unlike the SR150, which has a green, a white and a black. In addition, the graphic scheme on this one obviously is a little different. So here you get the SR125 branding while on uh, the 150 you have the 150 branding so the graphics have changed in places but this one is still very identifiably an Aprilia SR series scooter the chassis the suspension the brakes those beautiful wheels and the joy that the SR series is to ride remains absolutely the same so apart from the smaller capacity and slightly less power you get the beautiful handling scooter that the SR 150 always has been the power output here is 9.5 HP and the peak torque is 9.9 Nm. Now, that power output is about half an HP less than the bigger 150. However, the torque is a full 1 Newton meter less. Now, both those figures are produced at a higher RPM as compared to the SR150. In terms of absolute power numbers, this one has the maximum peak power among its peers. The TVS and torque comes a little close, but this one has the highest power figures out there. Although the torque is something which is available in higher numbers, uh, within the competition. However, it really translates very well on the road in terms of the performance when you ride the scooter and we are going to come back to that again. Moving towards the rear of the scooter, a few changes that Aprilia has made to this one is A, this longer seat because uh, they wanted it to be a bit more comfortable than the SR150. This one also gets this grab belt so as to allow the pillion rider to hold it and find some support when the scooter is accelerating hard. Although there is no grab rail here, there would be one and it would be different from the SR150. It would be a single piece unit, unlike uh, the twin piece unit on the SR150 and it would be more practical. It would be slightly raised to ensure that grabbing it is easier. As we have been told by the folks at Aprilia, the grab rail will cost about 400 rupees extra and the side stand and the sari guard will cost about 150 bucks extra. Now talking uh, further about the design, what we absolutely love about the SR series is its sharp styling it's every bit an Aprilia in terms of the styling. This one takes no half measures in declaring that it's a sporty scooter. It's very sharp styling, that pointy nose, those cuts and creases up front, that sportily styled headlight and uh, the way the top handle area has also been designed shouts out loud that this is a sporty scooter. But what really declares that this is a scooter like no other scooter on the market are its wheels. These uh, very nice looking 14 inch alloys are something that you won't find anywhere else on any other model. Also those 220mm front discs not just uh, make it look good but they have the kind of bite that no other scooter has. The brakes on this scooter are absolutely amazing and it does some pretty serious speeds too and it's very important that the brakes are able to haul it down to a standstill in no time at all and those brakes do a very good job of it. At the rear you get uh, 140 mm uh, drums but the braking overall uh, is pretty good and we think that uh, despite having a drum brake unit at the rear uh, the braking uh, doesn't leave us wanting. What also adds to the handling and the braking and the performance of the scooter is the 120 section tyres up front and at the rear. Those 14 inch alloy wheels are shot with V rubber 120 section as we told you and the grip from these tyres at least in the dry is fantastic. We rode it at very high speeds around corners and we realized that the grip from these tires even under very hard braking and when leaned over is pretty good and that's one thing that really lends this scooter its unique handling capability which is I would rather say is unmatched. Now talking about performance, uh, the performance on this scooter uh, as uh, most of you would probably know the SR series is known for its performance and this one is no different. Uh, if you come closer you'd see that the speedo has been marked with 120 km uh, per hour top speed and most of the cases you'd see that the speedo needle will not go all the way up to the marked top speed that's not the case here when you take this 
scooter on a straight road and give it the beans this scooter is actually going to touch that indicated 120 km per hour top speed and i personally believe that there is still some way to go if you find a long enough stretch it actually tries to pass that barrier so that's something unique that we have seen uh, i'm sure that there is some speedo error there but still i'm pretty sure that this scooter does well in excess of 100 km maybe 110 km per hour true speed which is fantastic for a scooter especially a 125 cc scooter so in that sense the performance is right there of the block the performance may have been slightly better the peppiness of the block may have been a little better but it's really really strong uh, in the mid revs and the response from the throttle also is pretty good so in that sense when you are riding it within the city or on the highway this is a very capable scooter along with those big wheels the braking and the suspension this is a very capable very firm a very stable unit unlike a lot of other scooters so it really gives you a lot of confidence when you're pushing it hard and if you want a sporty scooter this one definitely has an edge over everything else in the market very sporty very very handling oriented and uh, very very satisfying from a performance uh, point of view so in terms of performance you should not be left wanting for anything however there are a few weak points as well and we are going to come to those points in a bit now talking about the instrument console as we mentioned uh, this gets a basic uh, fuel gauge you get an analog uh, speedo with uh, miles marking as well so this one gets a mph marking as well and it gets an odo however there are a lot of things missing okay you also get this uh, pilot light on uh, indicator this high beam uh, indicator and this uh, turn signal indicator however this one doesn't get even a trip meter which we think is an omission although you know we are not complaining about not having uh, a digital instrument console we really think that there should have been a trip meter because uh, that's something that everybody needs and uh, in terms of features the instrument console is definitely lacking the Aprilia SR125 also doesn't come with a brake lock so if you park it on the slope uh, with the side stand there may be a bit of a problem uh, one small uh, little grouse that i have is also with the rvms although they are not totally not usable i think they could have been a bit more uh, wide and a bit more adjustable i was uh, struggling a little bit sometimes to figure what was coming from the behind so in that sense wider mirrors could have been a little better the quality of the switch gear and everything is nice it's not the best but it's not very bad either it's it's pretty decent and you get a pass uh, switch as well which is uh, a neat touch a neat feature to have and uh, we'd say that the quality of the switch gear and the fit and finish is pretty good it's not the best and it's not bad either but probably it could have been better in terms of features there is a utilitarian hook here uh, which is a nice thing to have some other scooters have a compartment here for putting your cell phone or a small packet or something this one doesn't however the space here on the footboard is uh, pretty decent and uh, there is ample room for your knees as well i'll just sit and let you know so as you can see there is more than enough space for your knees so that's not a problem and uh, there is uh, ample separation of the handlebar from your knees as well so there's plenty of uh, room to move about however you don't have a hook here which is a necessity for a few people mind you this is not a utilitarian scooter and in that sense that may be an omission or not based on what you want from your scooter here you have the choke and what we particularly like are these uh, foot pegs for the pillion rider the way they have been built and uh, the way they've been uh, styled and painted it they look rather nice and premium we quite like the way they look in terms of the seat i would think that the pillion seat is a bit more comfortable then the rider's seat itself the seat as you can see is a bit sloping which is not a very good idea uh, and this one could have done with an anti slip material here as well so this is a performance scooter so obviously you will be doing uh, uh, high speeds and uh, since the braking is so good you do feel that you are slipping forward sometimes and uh, that could have been averted also the the breadth and the overall padding on the seat especially for the rider could have been a little better at times i really thought that uh, this seat was lacking in terms of uh, the support for the behind and uh, there is some scope for improvement there however the seat for the pillion is pretty good and uh, the additional length definitely helps you accommodate a well built rider like me without much of a problem so that would definitely help and getting aboard the bike is not much of a problem however for shorter riders there may be a bit of a problem i am 510 and uh, despite this being a scooter i am not planting my heels very firmly on the ground so if you are a short rider this is not the lowest scooters to buy in the market so you need to be aware of that also if you are a lady rider 
they may be a bit of an issue if you are not very tall so you have to be mindful of that talking about the under seat storage that is not one of the highlights on this scooter and as you can see a full face helmet inside is uh, barely fitting forget the seat going down so that's something uh, that you'll have to live with Aprilia claims that you can put a small half face helmet inside but the under seat storage although we don't know the exact figures is not the high points of this one the under seat storage on uh, a lot of other uh, more uh, mainstream scooters is definitely more a few other features that we want to point out here is that this one uh, as uh, is the case with a few other scooters doesn't have a usb charging socket nor does it have a light so those are a few missing features uh, that we have here although you have this uh, fastener here which you can probably use to uh, put in your papers or documents or a small packet a toolbox or whatever you wish to so that's a nice uh, touch uh, it really has provided here the fuel filler cap is inside it's not an exterior fuel filler cap so that's another feature that's uh, missing on this scooter uh, like this R155 however having said all of that those are not the things that you are going to buy this scooter this is not a utilitarian scooter this one is meant for handling for sportiness and for the brand that is emblazoned on the panels so that's one thing that you have to be very clear about whether you want it for all the features and for the utilitarian purposes or you want a good looking scooter that handles well and goes like this thing so in that sense there are a few things that you want to point out here and the first and foremost of them being the suspension it's oriented primarily towards handling this bike has terrific terrific stability in the straight line as well as around corners however that suspension is not the softest you are going to find and in fact this suspension is going to be one of the stiffest on any scooter that you'd come across you could feel every grain on the road from the front and at the rear and if comfort and suppleness from the suspension is what you're looking for this scooter is not something that you should be going for because the suspension is very stiff it adds terrifically to the handling as i mentioned it's probably the best handling scooter out there but the softness of the suspension is not something that i am going to vouch for also since this is sportly oriented scooter we are sure that you want to hear the exhaust note and we'll definitely uh, bring that to you so here is what it sounds like So it's pretty throaty and pretty bassy sounds good although currently among the current crop of scooters we think the entox sounds really good but this one is not bad either this sounds pretty bassy and uh, it's it's got this throaty note to it which sounds pretty masculine so that's the SR125 for you the fuel efficiency uh, this is a day ride and this is a limited time media ride so we are not able to extract and calculate the fuel efficiency but from what we have been told after a very detailed discussion with the uh, the people at uh, aprilia is that the fuel efficiency is going to be about 40 km to the liter uh, so if you are going to ride it very enthusiastically expect a fuel efficiency which ranges uh, from uh, anywhere from 36 38 km to the 42 45 km mark and uh, that's the kind of fuel efficiency that you should expect based on how you ride of course uh, another change that i forgot mentioning is that the seat is a single tone unit unlike the sr150 which gets a two tone unit with a touch of red as well so that bit has uh, not been uh, provided here and uh, the instrument console uh, although this one right now is fully analog what we hear is the sr150 as a new upgrade is going to come with a half digital uh, digital analog kind of uh, a unit in the next 3 to 4 months this one will not this one will stay like that and uh, that scooter will also get an optional connectivity feature like the one uh, the entorc has like partly it may have a few more features a few less features but it will definitely have bluetooth connectivity the sr150 in the times to come so that's something that you need to keep in mind so that's more or less the review of the sr125 for you however no review would be complete uh, until we compare this product with its uh, rivals in the market although as we have already told you this is an aprilia and in terms of branding in terms of overall image this one is in a league of itself it cannot be compared to anything else because aprilia by itself is uh, a very premium brand and it participates in global motorsports it has a big name in terms of performance it produces some of the best leader class super sport motorcycles in the world so uh, that brand by itself holds a lot of meaning however if you really have to compare the prices the tvs and torque comes for 58000 rupees ex showroom the grazia is for 59700 rupees the activa 125 is 59200 rupees ex showroom and the suzuki xs 
is 56,700. So the Suzuki Access is the most economical 125 that you can buy today. And among all the other scooters, uh, the Grazia at 59,700 is the most expensive. Although this one at 65,000 rupees is at least 6,000 rupees more expensive than any other scooter. And that's what you pay for the brand, for the performance, for those big 14 inch wheels and the kind of handling that this scooter delivers uh, that no other scooter can match. Also in terms of performance, the N-Torque delivers uh, 9.4 HP of power, 10.5 and of torque. So less power, more torque. Grazia has 8.5 uh, HP of power and 10.5 and of torque. So less power, but more torque. Access has 8.4 HP of power and 10.2 and of torque. So again, less power and more torque. So as you would have noticed, uh, most of the 125cc scooters offer about 0.5 nm of torque more while they offer about 1 HP less power with the N-Torque being the only exception. So that's that. However, the big wheels lend this one an advantage in terms of the top speed and as we have mentioned, no other scooter can match this one in terms of the sheer top speed that it can gather and we are sure that in terms of the acceleration also this is uh, quite unmatched. So to conclude, should you buy the Aprilia SR125? Well, if you are someone who wants to buy a scooter which is a truly sporty scooter, by all means you should. The highlights of this one is its performance, its top speed, its handling, its braking, the brand on the scooter, the way it looks and all of that. However, if you are looking for saving money, you will obviously because uh, it's cheaper by more than 5000 rupees as compared to the SR150 which was the only option available earlier. So you will obviously save uh, some money now because the performance on this one is quite comparable. It's uh, not too far behind at all. However, if you want to save money, you want utilities and if you are comparing scooters feature to feature, then maybe this scooter may not be the best for you. It may not be the best scooter in terms of the suspension. However, from an outright performance perspective, in terms of an image perspective, uh, I'm pretty sure that this is the best scooter in terms of performance, handling and the image and the branding. Uh, best scooter you can buy at this point in time. However, features, value for money, comfort, utilities, maybe something else. So that's us uh, wrapping up this review for uh, you. And uh, if we really have to ride a scooter very hard, this obviously is always going to be our first choice. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and until next time, this is Amit Changani signing off. Rev hard, rev free and ride safe.